This footage here was captured yesterday as the new fissures opened up right next to town Grindavik. A disaster and an absolute worst case scenario for residents of this little village. These are some of the words that we can use to describe these horrific scenes from yesterday, January 14th. And if you are traveling to Iceland, there are definitely some things around this new event that you should know about. And so let's first start with the latest update and talk about some things that we know so far. But first of all, let me just mention, for those of you who aren't familiar with the situation, this isn't a new volcano, but a continuation of a volcanic unrest that has been troubling the area for a while now. The exact location of the volcano is right here at Reykjanes Peninsula, very close to the international airport Keplavik, and right next to the affected town Grindavik. The new fissures opened up right where the defense walls were built, and here right next to houses in Grindavik. As we can see from the footage that we are getting, the lava has found its way to the town and has already destroyed some of the houses. So this is obviously an unimaginable tragedy for the residents of town Grindavik, but also for me as a photographer, from the tourist point of view, I kind of understand that this is a really exciting event to witness and something that many people will probably want to see. But let me just clarify that due to the location of the current eruption, you won't really be able to get close to the volcano like during some of the previous events on the peninsula. And if you go to the website of road.is, you can clearly see that all the access roads to the site are close to the public and the police controls who can enter the area. The closest that you can get is therefore here, on the main road between Keplavik and Reykjavik. This here is a video that I took yesterday when I was traveling from the airport and so this is probably something that you can expect to see if, if you are leaving the airport and then probably some orange glow on the horizon in the evening. And you can actually see that one of these roads is actually the one that leads to the famous Blue Lagoon, which is now closed and will remain closed probably as long as the volcano is still erupting. For those of you with a drone, you might be able to get a better view of the area, but I don't really recommend you to fly too far. As you can see here on the map, it is quite a distance. The cold temperatures we have right now will drain your batteries much faster, you might be facing some strong winds and most importantly, there are helicopters now flying in the area so you might be putting others to danger if you are flying too high. Probably the best view and the photos you can get is from the plane when you are flying to Iceland and then it just depends on what side you are sitting on. When I was flying from Europe, everybody sitting on the left side of the plane had a great view of the area, but unfortunately I was sitting on the right side of the plane, so I have no footage to show you. As of now, the volcano doesn't threaten the air traffic and there is only a lot of smoke coming out from the fissures. However, as the fissures seem to be extending further south, there is always a chance of the underwater eruption, which are generally way more explosive and produce a lot of smoke and ash, which could actually affect flights coming to Iceland. If you have booked your flight to Iceland, I wouldn't be too worried, but if you feel stressed and really want to make sure that this won't affect your flight, you can always fly through London and catch a flight to the capital of the North Iceland, Akureyri. But as the experts mentioned before, this is just our new reality here in Iceland and this volcanic period could last for who knows how long. And so my unadequated guess is that this will probably go on for days, maybe weeks, then it will die off, then start again, and this will repeat over and over again. But all in all, I have to say that as a tourist, you have really nothing to worry about and Iceland is completely safe to travel as always. The only thing I have to mention though is that it isn't really worth coming here just to see the volcano, because A, you probably won't be able to see much and B, there is always a chance that this could stop at any moment and so by the time you get here, you might not even be able to see any smoke coming out of there. However, Iceland is an amazing place to see even without an active volcano and so feel free to check out my channel if you are thinking of traveling here. But lastly, if you really want to see the volcano in real time but cannot come here, there are many live webcams that you can check out and I'll leave the links to some of them in the description below. And so that's it for this update and I'll see you in the next video.